if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe and join this Beauty Edition family. Today I'm going to give a review on three e.l.f. cosmetics products that I recently received. And as you know, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I only choose cruelty-free products. And e.l.f. Cosmetics is a cruelty-free line. So I needed some new foundation, so that's what got me looking into maybe trying something different. So I have three products here that I bought a foundation, a mascara, and a eyebrow mascara. So let me show you these. So the first is the foundation. And I chose the Flawless Finish Foundation. And I chose it in the shade Sand, a little darker than my natural skin tone. Now I don't lay out in the sun. If you've watched some of my other videos that I did, I will post above how I'm very conscious of sun smart, sun safe. I have had multiple skin cancers and really the sun is very, very aging to the skin. So we want to avoid that. So the first thing about this foundation is it doesn't have any sunscreen. So you're going to have to use a sunscreen moisturizer underneath or a separate sunscreen before you apply it to make sure that you are covered. So the first thing that I noticed, it does have a pump applicator. So I like that. I like the fact that I can kind of adjust the amount that I'm going to use. And then right away, I could tell that this shade was off. I stay with cool undertones. As you can see, my skin has pink undertones with a bluish veins. So I stay with the cool shades. And this was very yellow. It certainly cast a warm shade. So right away, I knew that the shade was off. And as we know, if we're not able to test the color of the foundation, we just go by a picture online, which is very hard to be able to, to match up the correct shade. But I felt because it said neutral undertones that I would be okay. But the shade is not going to be right for me. So on their website, as long as you put in for a refund within 30 days, of the purchase of the foundation, you will get a full refund, which is nice. So I will be trying another shade because I did like the coverage. It's a medium coverage. I like the feel of it. This is a semi-matte finish, which I like because I have oily skin and I already have oil that tends to break through and make a shine on my skin. So I like the fact that it's got that matte finish or semi-matte finish, which is good. So I really do like it as long as the shade is going to be right. So I'm going to try for another shade on that. Then I went with a mascara. I needed a new mascara, so I went with their Lash Extending Mascara. And the reason I chose this mascara is because I do like this type of wand. I like the elongated wand and I chose black. I always use a black mascara. So I did like it. I used it and it was a nice, nice mascara. It didn't clump. I found that, that it really went out evenly and it did give my lashes an extended length. Of course, you would build on this. One application is fine for running your errands just every day, and you might want to add some layers if you're gonna go in tonight. So this was a, a good product. I would order this again. Then I went with a brow mascara. I really have liked, and what I've been using is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow in the Baby's Got Black shade. So I've really been liking that. So when I saw this Wow Brow, I thought, oh, maybe it's going to be similar to that. It's a lot smaller, so you don't get as much product, 
but it does have a, a little wand and uh, this is the brunette shade. I found it a little lighter than the brunette shade in the Wet n Wild and doesn't have a lot of product so there's not a lot here to use and the fact that it went on nicely you could build with it for a natural look but I won't be ordering this again just because I found in the Wet n Wild product which I'll link below too so you can see what, what I've been using. Um, I really thought it was a better buy for the money. Now all of these are very inexpensively priced so I like the fact that I got all of these cosmetics for $14, which is very, very reasonable. And the most important point about it is that they're cruelty free. I will be doing a separate video on why I choose cruelty free products because I realized I've never really talked about the reasons why I do use strictly cruelty free and why I hope that this will open your eyes and have an awareness of why I feel passionate. I love beauty products, but I don't feel like I want to sacrifice an animal's health and wellness just so I can use something for my outward appearance. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a fun video that I'll be releasing shortly. So two thumbs up. Two out of the three, I really, really liked. And as long as I get the right shade in my foundation, uh, you're good to go because I really like to support this brand. It's easy to shop for. You can find this brand at Target. And if there's any cruelty-free products that you have used and you'd like to share it with me, please leave in the comments below. And I hope you're well. And until next time, as always, peace and love.